Hey guys, if you want to become a better archer, better bow hunter, you've came to the right place. I'm Levi Morgan, this is Bow Life Boot Camp, and we're about to dive into everything archery. Hey guys, Levi Morgan here. This is just a little segment on how I crest arrows and why I crest arrows um, and how I go about doing it. So there's a couple different reasons why I would crest an arrow for hunting purposes. Like this is my hunting arrow. I like a pretty big crest. I like bright colors. Um, one of the reasons is I like to see my arrows in flight, visual. I like to see it go through the air and we shoot everything for TV. Um, and so it's good for the footage as well as lighted knocks like a nocturnal. So a hunting situation, I want a bright, you know, a white, a yellow, something like that. I really like white because it allows me to see the blood a little better. If I get a pass through, I can look, assess what kind of blood it is. Is it liver blood? Is it lung blood? You can see it really well on white. Um, I don't like reds. I don't like dark colors because it makes it really hard to look at the blood to find your arrow after the fact if you don't use lighted knocks. Um, so it's, and so I also like to use a bigger crest uh, hunting. Um, I'm not as worried about what my arrow weighs to the exact grain. So uh, yeah, so that's my hunting arrow. I kind of like to keep it simple. Just run it straight to the very back of the carbon. Um, and then I'll just center up my vein on that wrap, depending on how long it is. Now, if you've got to wrap this long, you're going to have more out front. Um, the main thing with where you put your veins on the wrap is making sure you don't have contact with your face. But um, okay, my competition arrows, I don't always crest, sometimes I do. If I think I might be stripping these veins off at some point in the year and going to a different vein for a different purpose, then I'll normally crest it. Um, these are my X cutters. I'm building these arrows for ASA and IBO, and I am putting a crest on it. Now I wanna keep this as light as possible because I have my arrow really close to what I want it to weigh already. So what I did is I took the tack crest, just a normal crest, and I actually measured, I got the vein that I wanted, which is a tack driver 275, and I measured about a quarter of an inch on each side, and that's what I actually took scissors and cut these wraps the exact same length. So they're just past where my vein's gonna be. Now, in competition, I also like a visual. I like to see where my arrow hits, some people, try to use dark colored black veins, black knocks, so their competitors can't see their arrow in the target and have a reference. That's not me. I can't control my competitors. I like to see where my arrow goes. I like instant feedback. One, that's one of the reasons I wanna use a crest. Another one is, if I do have to strip these veins off, I'm not having to dig into the carbon. I'm not having to you know, really sand the, the shaft back down to get it smooth. I can start and peel the crest up little by little and take all the veins off and have a really nice base to refletch those arrows with. So if you wanna save the carbon on your arrows, use them year after year, you can use crests on your competition arrows too. There's no reason you can't. Um, so how I did that, I'm gonna show you. So I have these two done already. I'll set those over to the side. So I know the exact measurement I want my vein off the back of the arrow. Um, so what I'm doing is taking a tape measure and I'm measuring 5 8 off the carbon. I'm just going to start with a mark here. So I'm going to put it at three and five eighths. And then I'm going to take a Sharpie or a little pen, something you can see really well, and mark the inside, just a little tiny dot on the inside of that mark. And I know just to cover up that little dot. And I'll be five eighths off the back of my shaft with the wrap. Also, when you go to wrap, you don't want to do it on a, a hard table. Um, I'm using a, like a mouse pad for a computer. You want something that's, that's firm but has some give to it so it'll press that wrap in, won't have any bubbles and, and air pockets in it. And then you wanna keep your fingers off of it as much as possible. And keep the wrap really clean. Make sure your, your arrow shaft's clean, doesn't have any dirt or debris on it. And I'll just lay it in there like that. Then you wanna square it off and find that dot right there and I'll square it all the way to the edge, then move it down where I can just cover up that dot. Then I'm gonna hold it, press really evenly and firmly, and roll it until I start to see the edge come around. And when I see that edge, I'm gonna take my finger and really seal that good 
down and then I'm going to continue to press and wrap the rest of the, the wrap around the arrow. And you get a really good square wrap. And now, whenever I go to put my vein on it, they're all going to sit on it exactly the same. I'm going to have about a quarter on each side. It's very important to have everything the same from arrow to arrow, just like anything else in archery. Um, and when I go to reflesh these arrows down the road, I can just peel all this off, start over. But that's really simple, really quick. It's not rocket science, but I wanted to show you, you know, how to crest an arrow, why to crest an arrow. Um, I'm getting these arrows ready for competition and that's what they're going to look like.